before you check out any component on the an air conditioning system, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're doing it safely. So when we check out the capacitor, you're going to want to turn off and de-energize de the power to the outdoor unit. Most of the outdoor units are going to have a disconnect box such as this. This is a more modern one. You can just pull the disconnect out, it de-energizes the power. Older systems may have a fuse disconnect or a circuit breaker. Very old homes may not even have this disconnect, in which case you're going to have to go in and locate the circuit breaker in the circuit breaker panel to de-energize the power. The second part about being safe when uh, checking out your capacitor is to ensure that the power is in fact de-energized to the unit. I've had uh, systems where uh, another technician hot-wired the disconnect box and even though it was pulled out there was still power to the unit. So you take your volt voltmeter, put it on your volts AC, check the incoming power. And there's no power coming in so we now know it's safe to uh, remove our capacitor to check it out. Now you can check the capacitor with it in place but what you do have to do is remove the um, wires that go to it. I'm going to show you this later but a capacitor has a dual capacitor has three different terminals to connect to. There's a C, an F, and a HERM terminal and that stands for common fan and hermetic which is the compressor. Don't get confused. C does not stand for compressor. Always use your needle nose pliers. If you jiggle the wires with your fingers and try and pull them off on an older system um, you may break this connection. So always use your needle nose pliers. Pull them off one at a time. Making sure that you note where each wire goes you can look on the top of that and uh, I'd take a notepad and write down uh, the color of wires in which terminal it goes to CF or the HERM terminal. So once those wires are removed then it's time to check out the capacitor. Well, I removed the capacitor so that we can see how this is done just a little bit easier. First thing you want to do is to verify what uh, value this capacitor is. This is a dual capacitor and it's a 40 plus 5 MFD which stands for microfarad. So the 40 is for the compressor side and the 5 is for the fan motor, outdoor fan motor side. So the first thing you do to check the a capacitor is to make sure that you have a meter that can measure capacitance. This happens to be a field piece meter and I highly recommend this. It's designed for HVAC technicians and as you can see the uh, selector knob is set to MFD which stands for microfarads. You're going to place one of your leads on the common terminal of the capacitor and then you're going to find the HERM terminal and check out the value of the HERM or the compressor side and you can see that the meter is ramping up and it's a 40 microfarad capacitor and this one checks out at 40.1 microfarads we are less than 10 percent off so we know that side is good you then shift your lead over to the fan terminal from common to fan and the fan side is 5 microfarads and this reads at 5.3 that's still below the 10 percent mark 5.5 would be the 10 percent but it is creeping up there this would be something you'd want to keep an eye on if you did an annual maintenance uh, and record it if it starts to climb to 5.5 it's time to replace that capacitor that is the checkout procedure for the capacitor and then you reverse the procedure to put everything back together. The, the proper terminals get connect, connected to the proper wires and then you re-energize the power.